Uh, we're rolling. Give us your name and title. I'm Beverly Childs. I'm the executive director of the Anderson County Museum. And we're standing in our second gallery today. And we're talking about the museum and what we have in it and what it means to the people of Anderson County. A lot of people ask me every day, how did you get your job? Or how long have you been with the museum? Well, I was hired in January of 2008, so I've been here about nine years now, and we have made a lot of progress in those nine years. The staff has worked truly very hard. Uh, another question they ask is, how can an ordinary citizen get involved with the Anderson County Museum? Well, that's easy. We always need volunteers at our front desk. We always need volunteers in our Roper Research Room. And you can also help us with your donations, donations of artifacts and, of course, donations of money. The Friends of the Anderson County Museum is the 501c3 arm of the museum. It's a nonprofit and it can accept donations that are tax deductible. The museum is owned by Anderson County. The facility is owned by Anderson County. They help us by maintaining our facility and paying the staff. But you can always make a donation here, and we welcome those. I get asked a lot, what has been the most rewarding thing or part of your job? That's kind of a hard question because it's all very rewarding. Some days I do nothing but talk to people all day long. Other days I t it takes a whole day to answer my emails. But the most rewarding thing I think is seeing us progress as we tell the story of Anderson and Anderson's history. Another thing that people ask me a lot is how does a city like Anderson and a county like Anderson have this wonderful of a museum. Our museum, the gallery, is 12,000 square feet. The museum facility is about 26,000 square feet. And I tell people it starts at the top. If your county administrator and your county council value history, then you're going to, they're going to find a way to have a wonderful county museum or city museum, if it's the city, it starts with the city council and the city, uh, the city administrator. But either way, it always depends on the people at the top and how much they value history. So if you value history, you need to encourage your town or your county to get involved in preserving the history. Another question I've been asked is, how can a normal citizen preserve history? Anytime you go anywhere and see a, an old building being renovated, you're preserving history. I encourage people, preserve your family history, preserve your family photographs. There is so much that you can do. Donating your artifacts to the Anderson County Museum, if you want them preserved, is another great way that you can help preserve history. Um, people ask me all the time, what is your favorite artifact? Man, that is a hard question because you know that's a question like what is your favorite child? Or in my case, what is my favorite dog? Or what is your favorite, who is your favorite staff person? I don't tell people my favorites. I have a few, but they're all very precious and most of them, they can't be replaced. So if something happens to one of them, if we don't work hard to preserve it, then we may not can get another one just like that. So all of our artifacts are very important to this museum and we have about 25,000 artifacts. Our Roper Research Room has about 4,500 books and papers. So that's another place that you can come if you want to preserve or, or research your family genealogy, come to the Roper Research Room on Tuesdays from 1 to 7 p.m. That's it for the Anderson County Museum today, but we're going to invite you back many times. We're going to be taking you through some of our exhibits and showing you some of the wonderful artifacts we have. We are a free admission museum, thanks to Anderson County for their support. And we're open on Tuesdays from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Wednesday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. We're located at 202 East Greenville Street in downtown Anderson, South Carolina.